Hi, thanks for joining me on Wilderness of the Monty. I'm in beautiful Union Valley Reservoir. It's in the Crystal Basin Recreation Area on the western side of Lake Tahoe, right off the 50. It's up where Ice House Lake is and Blue Lake where I've already have clips for. And we have got a lot of snow. And it looks really cool out here. And I'm on my way to visit family for the holidays in the Sacramento area. So I stopped off. I'm only going to have a few hours to fish because I didn't get out here until almost noon. Uh, it was a long day at work yesterday and I just uh, I got a little bit of a late start. But the roads are plowed up here and I can see they plowed the boat ramp and you can do dispersed camping out here. So I'm thinking that the next time I come here I'm going to have my boat and I might even stay out on the lake. But for now, I'm just fishing some uh, inflated crawler and a uh, power bait. Maybe get a couple of fish to cook up at my cousin's house tonight. You know, do the best I can to get something. I just wanted to come check this lake out before I brought my boat. Made a big production out of it. So, tomorrow I'm going to be fishing for my Patreon before the snow starts falling. So hopefully I can get something here for my YouTube viewers at Union Valley Reservoir. And it's, it's uh, not that cold out here today. It's beautiful. And uh, there's supposedly browns, Mackinac, rainbows, and coconut in here if you got a boat. I cast it out with a quarter ounce slip sinkers and I got about a 30 count down. I'm gonna let that stay out there for, you know, 45 minutes or so and then I'm going to bring one of them in really close and see if there's anything cruising the shoreline. So, hey, let's see if we can't get a couple fish uh, to cook up tonight and um, make, this, make this little diversion worth it. But just being out here, it's already worth it. Let's see what's up. Hit on the power bait. There we go. Well, I said I had three hours. I'm not gonna need three hours. <laughs> and he's fighting. He's not huge, but good cooking size. Yeah, there he is. There he is, baby. And it looks like it might even be a Mackinac. I'm going to see if I can let this guy go. Oh, I got that tiny treble hook working for me. So this Mac is gushing blood. I thought I got the hook out clean. I must have got his gill. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, have to keep this fish. So there's the Mac. You know, it's a good 18 incher, 19 inches maybe. And I'm not a huge fan of eating those Mackinac. My hands are frozen. Uh, I would have let him go if I could, but he was, the, the little treble hook was right in his gills, inside of its mouth. And when I popped it out, I thought I got it clean, but he started bleeding. And once they start bleeding, they're done. Someone in the comment section told me that the meat is much better if you fillet it and get rid of the skin. So I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna probably get these fillets because I'm driving home uh, tomorrow night and I'll probably cook those up when I get home. So let's see if we can't get some rainbows. That's what I'm here for. Man, I was sleeping and my night collar started to go. There he goes. There he goes. Yeah. Yeah. That's the night crawler. Woo! This fish is fighting a little bit more like a nice rainbow. There he is. I was sleeping on that tarp. Oh yeah. This is what I'm after right here. Woo! 
He hit that inflated crawler, though. I didn't want to go any farther down on that because I would have slid right into the water. It's a nice fat rainbow right there, boy. That is like the perfect size for filleting and eating. Pink meat for sure. Nice fat trout. So this is going to be it. The rainbow is right at 18 inches. The Mackinac is right around 18 inches as well. Although they're both right around 18, the Mackinac is a little bit above 18. The rainbow is way fatter. This thing's gonna have some great fillets on it. And uh, that's a nice catch for today. And I was gonna stay until three or so, but all these sticks just floated in and I don't want to have to hassle with moving when I'm going to be leaving so soon. And there's no end to this slick of sticks that's coming. And this was a great pit stop on the way to visiting family. I mean, I didn't want to go straight there and get stuck listening to Christmas music feeling jolly inside all day. I mean, for me, this is as jolly as I need to be. I can still go back and visit now. I'm going to take that Mackinac home. I'm going to cook that rainbow up. That rainbow should feed two or three people. For me, cold weather rainbows fight way harder than browns and uh, Mackinac don't fight that hard. Those rainbows pound for pound when it's really cold, they can really put up a fight. Uh, whether it's in a river or it's in a lake. But I mean, I'll take anything. So I'm going to bring that Mackinac home experiment with cutting the skin off like the one uh, viewer su suggested in the comment section. I learned stuff from the viewers too. But uh, that's going to do it for Wilderness with Imani YouTube this week because I'm going to be fishing for Wilderness with Imani Patreon tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, scouting session of um, Union Valley Reservoir. I'd never been here before. And before I hauled my boat and all this stuff up here, I kind of wanted to see what was going on and make sure it was something I wanted to do. It's definitely something I wanted to do. This lake has some nice quality fish. That rainbow was sweet. So I hope you enjoyed the fishing today. Thank you for joining me on Wilderness with Imani. Until next time.